Hello, Plastic Model Builders. It is I, your host, Ari. This is the Tommy F4B Phantom. This is part seven. Doing some masks right here for some painting. This is a very good mask. Remember, subscribe, comment, and like. We've got a new Facebook group and a Facebook page. It's Plastic Model Builder. Every Saturday when we do a video premiere, we do a live chat. So join us in that. It's fun to talk about it as you see it happening. I've heard complaints about these masks. It's my first time working with them. I didn't have any troubles based on what I read. I figured how to handle them. This makes masking off a lot easier. Everything's already done. Just put on each one their label. That way you know how to do it. It's model making madness. Make the masks look pretty. Using my finger there. Uh, later on, not this video, but another one, we cut that out. And you see here, this is a little curvature part. It's hard to see, but it's there. Make sure you get that when you're doing this mask. Goes on one of the windows. Of course it goes on a window, why? Because they're canopy masks. Just going around the edge, and you saw that right there. Painting black, right here. Getting the insides, this is the afterburners. And this is a little top piece right here that will sit down inside of the cockpit, or at least on top of it. Window rails, these are gonna go in. This right here is for the back window if you are doing the up version. This is that front portion that I sprayed earlier. It's going in on this video. Got landing gear. This is the front cockpit. I probably could have waited to paint this, but I did it now. Win some, lose some. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Oh yes, because I wanted to put the window in and have the tape down still. Rear window, you can see the complete masking right there and how well that went together. This is the middle window. Got stuff on there as well. I like the masks. This is the rear wheel. I invented a little thing there, broken toothpick. Made it easier to spray. I liked it. Dipping the front of this into the black. That is the refueling probe. Couldn't remember the name on the last video. Got it right on this video. Watch that last video, by the way, if you haven't. So here, this is the display. I've got a little silver bit that goes in there. Got to peel up my masking for it. And there is the window. Got a little paint bleed. That's okay, because that went sprayed black. I scraped it off with a toothpick. And get this from the inside, then press it down. Make sure it's secure. Look at that. It's pretty. Got these right here. Little nodules. They need to come off. Sand them down. Place it right in front of the aircraft. Just like so. Easy, easy, peasy. So this goes yellow. I painted it white first so the yellow would shine through instead of black. Better method. I have to remember to do that and not take shortcuts every time. So we have this here. Slides it in just like that. We are going to do some more painting of this thing. So you see how that goes blowing down the back sides because that's unpainted and unseen. Painting a little bit of gray just like that because it's a gray instrument panel. Certain parts go black as well. Got my little brush. I don't know what the material is. Silicone, I believe. I'm just trying to work with them. If things don't turn out exactly painted perfectly, it's okay. It's just a model. It's not going to competition. It looks really good on my shelf. And you see I have the seats in there. Guess what? They're not actually glued in. I just wanted to make sure I could fit them in. I actually don't put the seats in until after I actually have the canopies on when the video and the model is actually finished. I can still probably pull them out today. I'm not sure if I glued them in or not, but we'll find out later on. Anyway, here are the afterburner nozzles. I guess that's what you would call these. Here they are, front and back. I black based them. I figured it'll make the colors pop later on when I go to spray this color on there. Like a steel beard. What the heck, why not? Good to try new stuff, see what works, what doesn't. 
again, model making madness. Make it look pretty. Cut these out. So you see you got the little marks and how these goes. It's a tight fit. So make sure the sides of each exhaust are properly sanded. Otherwise you're going to have problems. And you see how this goes slowly, one at a time. This is the last one for each of these nozzles right there. It just slides down. Had a little issues, but we made it work. Then make sure everything's pressed in properly and just look inside there. So you see spray painting, kind of like a rust color that I made. Steel, burnt steel, whatever you want to call it. Going inside of that. Now this, spraying the outside is steel color because everything's black based. This is how I did the outside. Then you have to go back and put inside of the feathers a burnt color according to the instructions. I did it in a certain way. I think it worked out. It wasn't too bad. Just like that, using my little silicone brush. Practice makes perfect. The more you do, the better you get. I could have masked it off, but masking just is not for me to take that time to do it. Others will do it. So we've got a bunch of different colors here that we've got to do with the steel. Uh, mixing several colors in, follow the directions. I didn't put the ratios on here. I'll let you figure that out. As well, same with the tailpiece. I'm doing each color. You got that one right there. I love when I drip my paint everywhere too, because you can see it in the cups and some spraying directly flat down. And that's okay. We make it work. You got all that right there. Then you have to get the outside edge all along the edge that comes later. I thought it was this color, but it's not. See, this is the outside edge. I believe that's a different shade. I'm not sure. And this one I just kind of floated around. I wasn't worried about overspray this time. I will mess that off and make it look really good though. And then same with this. You see where I masked off to get the different effect here. And once we peel off the tape, you're going to see how well it comes out. It's a slight variance and it looks really good. Two shades here. And then as well with this, you could see I masked everything off. I think the reason I did the other stuff was just to get rid of some paint. It was left in the cup. Why not? I hate wasting things. But you can see the shade difference in this as it goes on. I liked how it turned out. One of my favorite sayings. Maybe I need to patent that. Trademark it. Copyright it. I don't know. So here you're going to see the difference in the shade of how this looks. This is the tail piece again. The stabilizers will go into that. You can see it right there. Just a slight color variation. It's subtle, but it looks really great on the plane. Now you could go the extra mile and put those burn streak marks that it gets on there, the discoloration of blues and purples. That one's a little dull looking. That's okay. You just see it. Here's the white, and then blends in very nicely. Just like that. Be careful with your masking. Use your razor if you have to. Make sure the blade is sharp and then you're going to get a nice edge. These turned out wonderfully. Don't forget to spray paint these little guys, by the way. I'm not sure what color those go. Front nose cone. Put it down. The windshield. Just like that. And as I said, you, know, you may want to wait until you do that. This is how I did mine. Like that. So this is the rear. I did not follow the directions on this. The directions call for this piece that I cut out to be glued in there. I did not do that. I glued this down first. So you have to make sure that you do a test fit and you can do this properly if you choose to go that route. Because the directions have you putting that windshield on or at least the thing that pops up, the actuator, and then putting that down with the canopy on there. Uh, these are just little nodes that go on the aircraft four of them each around the edge there's the other one you see i got my silly putty in there don't mix it with tack it doesn't work out very well got hooks the hooks fit down right there just like so into the hook right there and then paint the underside white of the aircraft 
That's coming up. Got that little thing there. I think I may have broken it. Primer time. At least around this little area. There we go. All the wings. Painting the primer on. And then we'll go back and paint the base color. You see it going on. This is the underside. Putting on the primer on that. I'm not going to show you too much of it because you get it. White. This is the underside. We're painting it white. I got my drips there. Did I bother cleaning them up? No. Why? Weathering will hide it. And so will paint. That's the great thing about paint. You can hide stuff and weathering hides stuff. Even sandpaper could be like weathering. Paint gets chipped eventually over time. And there it is. This is what it looks like all nice and painted up. Thanks for watching. Come back, watch the next one. And until next time, as always, see ya.